What's so funny, TSM? <laughs> It's the makeup nurse, you better fix your ways. The makeup nurse, she about to fix your face. It's the makeup nurse, you better get away. It's the makeup nurse, she about to fix your face. The makeup nurse, 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 the makeup nurse. It's the makeup nurse, you better fix your ways. The makeup nurse. She bout to fix your face, it's the makeup nurse yeah. It's the makeup nurse She bout to fix your face, makeup I'm back! Welcome back to my channel, The Struggle is Real with a Makeup Nurse. Today is Senate Saturday, so let's get started. And it's also April Fool's Day. Play Outside Day, Handmade Day, Sourdough Bread Day, and One Cent Day. All right, let's get started. We're going to start with the Thayer's Facial Toner Rose Petal Scented. And it's got witch hazel in it. And you can smell the rose scent, the floral scent. So, they're in the ER with my husband because... He was having flutter in his chest. And he had a whole monitor, a stress test, everything, um, about a month ago. And everything was fine. But he was having, like, premature atrial contractions, which the atrium is the top of your heart. And, um, which is not, you know, really a big deal. Um, but they still did a stress test, and I, which is, like, um, where they look at your, inside your arteries and all that. And then echocardiogram, which is an ultrasound of your heart. Um, and they did all that. So, everything was seemed to be good. But today, like, before the fluttering was, like, periodic, like, once in a while. Today was, like, consistent, and which worried me. And I had this little cardio, it's called Cardia Mobile, where you can put your fingers on. And I have a video on that, um, if you want to know more how to do it. But I have a video on it, um. Okay, now I'm going to use the Bali Balm um, Pineapple Lip Scrub um, if you're interested in seeing what that is. But it shows, it all detects some rhythms, not all um, abnormal rhythms. Alright, so we're going to go with the Kiwi Superfood Cooling Eye Serum. So I tried it three different times and it was showing like atrial fibrillation, which is where your atrium is just fibrillate, like is quivering. And so I'm like, and that could be dangerous. And the reason why it could be dangerous is because if your atrium is quivering, it's just doing this, it's not pumping and um, firing correctly. So it can like, um, your blood's not going to pump out as much and um, it could pull the blood and then cause a clot and, you know, cause a heart attack and so forth. All right, now we're going to use the Earth Harbor Celestine. Hydro Plumping Peptide Serum, Seaweed Peptides, and Hyaluronic Acid. So, so anyway, I'm like, I don't want him, if he's been um, sustaining in this rhythm, it's not good. Sometimes your heart will just go right back into a regular rhythm, and sometimes it needs medication, and sometimes it needs a, to defibrillate it to go back into a regular rhythm. So anyway, I wanted to verify this machine because, like I said, it only shows, like, certain rhythms. By the way, this kind of smells like a seaweed, and this is supposed to smell like a grapefruit. I can't really smell this one as a grapefruit, but it's supposed to. I thought this was supposed to smell like coffee, but I can never smell it. Um, but this is the Essence Coffee to Glow, um, and it's under eye energy treatment, so I'm thinking that it has coffee, but it doesn't really smell like, yeah, I don't smell it, so. But anyway, so we get to the ER, they do an EKG and stuff, and it's showing um, pre premature ventricular contractions, which isn't life-threatening with one or two here and there, but every third beat when he, on the EKG was showing this, which can be alarming. Okay, now we have the Don't Hate Hydrate 
from Sugar Rush. This actually smells really good. It's like a sweet smell. I'm not sure what it smells like though. But anyway, so, um, but then when he got on the monitor in the, in the room, I'm looking at it and to me, it's showing, um, like he had periods where it was every other beat, which was worrying me. They did do, um, usually what causes this is your electrolytes might be off, like your uh, potassium or magnesium. Usually those are the two. All right. We're going to use the Too Femme palette. It's supposed to, from Too Faced, I think it's supposed to have like a floral scent like a springy um i think i kind of smell it this time but it's so light okay anyway we're gonna use um this shade here which is the queen of everything shade and um but anyway yeah so we go in there and he's having pre every other bee on the monitor I'm worried, but his electrolytes were fine, and it's like, okay, what's causing this then? Because um, that's usually the cause, and they discharged him, and I'm like, okay, what do I do? Because what about if he goes into an abnormal rhythm, like, goes into this rhythm, but then it sustains? That's when it gets dangerous, if it sustains, like, every beat. And, and if it has a long, like at least six beats or more of this, it's called VTAC, and it can come in and out, which VTAC is ventricular tachycardia, which could be turned into, um, like if it sustains VTAC, like a long period, like a lot of beats, like 12 or something, then you could, that's when you need to, usually the person will be unconscious and you need to have, be defibrillated. So it can be very serious. And um, I'm like, so if he's, if everything's normal and if we don't know what's causing this, then what do I do? Just wait to see if he has symptoms and then call the ambulance? Okay, so let's go in with this shade here. The Hurts of Flutter. Oh my gosh. How convenient, right? <laughs> and kind of just lighten this up up here so anyway um we get discharged we're waiting on the uh cardiologist because the cardiologist was like okay let me know what they say because this isn't the hospital she's associated with and then i'll let you know what is going on and it looked like he was a little dehydrated but dehydration shouldn't really cause that so anyway she's gonna put a halter monitor on him <gasps> excuse me so yeah all right now we're gonna go in with this um let's do this dark shade here and that is called free to be femme free to be femme i don't think i've dipped into that shade before it looks untouched And so the halter monitor is this time. He um, the last time the monitor and a halter monitor is like a, a continuous monitor that they put on the patient for like however long they order it for. The first time I think was like only seventy two hours, so three days. This time it's going to be three to five, so they can really see what's going on. But he's had all the other heart tests, like a stress test, like I said, the echo, EKGs, but. Then she's going to schedule another appointment after the monitor for an EKG, which is just a snapshot electrical activity, of um, which is an electrocardiogram of the heart, and then a follow-up appointment to figure out like um, what to do next with him. Okay, let's use this green shade here, the Mint to Be. And let's just... Put that in. Let me use my brush. All right.
All right, now we're going to use the e.l.f. Mint Mount Cooling Face Primer. And this smells like mint. And this is actually a dupe for the Milk gri um, Grip. Um, grip. Oh gosh, I'm trying to think of. Yeah. Oh, I smell the mint. And it is like really tacky. Hydro Grip, that's what it is. Milk Hydro Grip. Okay, we're going to use the coconut. Um, I Heart Revolution Brow. It smells like coconut. I smell it. Do you want strawberries? No, thank you, honey. Oh, it's cold paper. Oh. Okay, now we're going to use the Morphe foundation. is a very perfumey smell. Okay, now let's use the Morphe concealer. This isn't as perfumey, but it does have a scent that I still... Maybe it's just makeup. But again, these are, if you're new here, these are um, supposed to be fragrance-free, but I smell stuff. This is more like a lighter, but it smells like maybe makeup, maybe? that Maybe that's the scent I'm smelling. But man, that foundation is not fragrance free. Okay, now we're going to use the Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation infused with peach and sweet fig cream. I kind of smell something. I don't know what I smell. Okay. Let's blend this in.
I use as if you're new here I use this foundation as bronzer because when I bought it I wasn't paying attention I just saw oh it's looks like it's appears scented so I'm gonna buy it and not paying attention to the shade and then I'm like oh it's too dark so now I use it as bronzer Especially with, I have this really light foundation from Morphe. Okay, now I have the Gel Crush Flower Beauty. It smells like raspberries. It smells so good. Now I'm using the Liquid Highlight by Morphe, the Mary Ziegler one. This smells like vanilla. Ah, it smells so good. Okay, I'm going to use this Physician's Formula Butter Believe It Base Powder. It smells like coconut. Now I'm going to use the Physician Formula Bitter Butter. <sighs> Smells like coconut or something sweet. I think it is coconut. They have a lot of um, scented products, but a lot of it is coconut scented. Which I don't like coconut the taste, but I, I like the smell. It smells so good. I really don't like the coconut taste. Okay, I'm going to use the Physician's Formula Bread and Butter. I forget what this is supposed to smell like. This is in the shade Toasty. I'm trying to think if it was like a toast. No, I forget what it's supposed to smell like. But this actually has a lighter scent than most of their bronzers. Most of their bronzers you can, like it's really light, I can't even figure it out. I'm going to contour my nose. <clears throat> now let's blend.
Okay, for blush, I'm going to use the Sugar Peach Face and Eye Palette. And we're going, ooh. By Too Faced, we're going to go in with this Sugared Peach Shade. Okay, now we're going to use the Essence Coffee to Glow Highlighter. And these are like coffee beans. And they smell like just as strong as coffee beans. I swear they just put like coffee beans in here. Call it a highlighter. That's how much it smells. Which I'm okay with. I just wish it wasn't necessarily all the all these beans because it is hard to get it up. I wish that they kind of like put the shape of the beans, but like kind of like packed it together, and not all loose like this. But hey, it's scented, so I'm good. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this brush and define it a little bit more. All right, we're going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Brownie for my brows. It smells like a brownie. Smells so good. All right, we're gonna use, um, let's use this shade here that we used, it's hard to flutter. It's the light, but that's okay. Because then we're gonna go back in with meant to be. If it doesn't fall apart on me. put that underneath. That might have been too light of a shade under. Yeah, that's really light. Let's go in with Make It Rain. Right next to it, it's more of a matte shade. Okay, let's put a little more of that meant to be shade, the glitter. Let's just blend this out. Okay, we're going to use the 100% Pure Mar Maracuja Oil Mascara. It smells like coconut. Oh, it smells so good.
Okay, we're going to go back in with Hearts of Flutter. And we're going to just put this under our brows. And use this as the inner corner. Okay. Okay, I'm going to use this MAC um, one in Joy de Viber that I used yesterday because it's not like birthday cake and I just so wanted to try it again. Even though the shade is not my color. This isn't about the color, it's about the scent. I love the scent of birthday cake. Okay, now we're gonna set it with, hold on, I'm gonna shake it up. We're gonna set it with this Wet n Wild Twinkle Star Glow Face Mist. Or is this? Yeah, um, yeah, it is a setting. It can be used as a setting spray. But it's like a glow, so it's supposed to smell like cotton candy. I kind of can smell it. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today. This is the final look for Sun and Saturday. Also, the riddle of the day is what do insects learn at school? Comment down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!